Hey, it's Phil Getz here. Gonna talk through a little math assignment here. So we have two car rental companies that advertise uh, a certain rate here. And then we wanna pick which one of these diagrams actually represents what we're looking at, right? So there is some information that we do know. And what you quickly wanna do is write down the information that we know. So we know 35, so 35 a day, and then we know 0.2 a mile. Right, and then we also know $25 to rent a car a day, and then we know that it's gonna be 0.4 a mile. So those are things that we know. We could go in here and pick uh, an amount of, of miles to test to see what happens. And throughout the day today while I was teaching this, one of the students actually discovered and showed me that there's a crossover point here on D, on, on diagram D, and if we look at it really closely, uh, what we're going to see is that this number here looks like 50. So it's going to be 50 and then 45. So 50 comma 45 is going to be when these two equations, whatever they are, are equivalent. So let's go and figure this out for if we look at, at 50, at 50 miles here, right? So 50 miles is going to be 50 point zero times point two is zero zero ten two decimal points ten dollars plus thirty five a day right is going to be forty five forty five dollars fifty miles fifty forty five forty five so let's figure it out then for point four miles right for point four dollars per mile so let's get these dollars in here we're gonna say that cents, this is dollars, we're gonna say that that cents right there. So if we go to figure this one out, we're gonna do 50 miles again, put that little decimal in there so we don't get confused what place value we're at. Zero, count both of these up, put it here. So that's gonna be 20, and then we'll add in the 25 a day, 25 a day, and that's gonna get us to that 45 as well. So the answer to this one here is going to be D, but you can go in and what I tried to do today was actually take a 20 and figure out where we were. And it was kind of precise. It kind of looked like we had it. And then we solved once for 80 and it's like, oh, these are kind of close together and you really have to have your eyeglasses on to, uh, to take a look at it um, there. But there could be another way to represent both of these as equations and then find a way to make the equations equivalent because if this one didn't work out to be the right answer, then I don't know of another way to solve it. So my rules in the classroom are there's two of them at this point. And the first rule is if you see me do something wrong, say it. The second rule is if you see something that can be done uh, better, go ahead and uh, uh, say that as well. Those are the two rules. And the objectives are always going to be the same thing, math and fun. Uh, this message has been brought to you by the FCC, the Federal Communications Commission. So be aware that if you are a broadcaster, there are legal ways to broadcast. And if you uh, start a FM, a pirate FM radio station, for example, uh, first off, you shouldn't, uh, because second, there's ways within the FCC uh, to go ahead and uh, get licensed for something like a low power FM radio station, an LPFM. You can find me on Twitter at P-H-I-L-I-P-G-O-E-T-Z. Again, P-H-I-L-I-P-G-O-E-T-Z. Thanks so much.